Welcome back. You know, most of us don't need to see the snow on the ground to let us know that winter is near. Our skin tells us well before that first snowflake. Jamie Cross is a beauty skincare professional joining us this morning to show us some budget conscious ways to amp up your skincare routine for the cold weather months. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Todd. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Oh, thank you for being with us. Can you share us a, a little bit of back, your background in, in the skincare industry and then why it's necessary to change your skincare routine during the cold months? Absolutely. Yeah. So we just celebrated 10 years in business. I've been an herbal alchemist now since 2010 and um, have helped hundreds of thousands of people now at this point overcome all the dry, cracked, flaky, itchy skin. And herbalism is just something that most people think no natural products don't work, but we've proven them wrong. And so when we go into the winter months, people really, um, I think we don't see that we need to protect and hydrate because with the heater on, you know, the fireplace is going, it's actually lifting and removing moisture from our skin. So we need to take extra measures to make sure we've got hydration, you know, that's anti-aging and all of those good things. I'm paying extra attention to this just because, well, my wife likes to say I have alligator skin. <laughs> it never, it never really sweats. It's very, very dry skin. So during the winter, it can actually start to crack. So you're talking about yeah. natural solutions to this. So let's talk about some cost effective ways because when I hear natural and organic, sometimes I think this is going to cost me a lot of money. No, absolutely. There, there's really three things that I recommend. One is make sure that you're dry brushing. You can get a dry brush at most beauty locations. You know, you can get it on Amazon and that helps to activate the lymphatic system. It helps to eliminate dry um, flaky skin. I also like to recommend that people avoid water-based lotion. So water attracts water. And um, this is an interesting fact, but when you put water-based lo lotion onto your skin, it's actually removing moisture and releasing into the air. So you want to go with a humectant-based, farm-fresh beeswax-based lotion, and then always address beauty from the inside out. So take a really good collagen you're looking for collagen too that has a vitamin delivery system and then your body is working um, working on the hydration on a cellular level as well. So those are three really great ways to do that. Got it, so I can take something internally, the collagen supplements, and then I can find a body lotion that doesn't have water as its base. Okay, I think I can handle that. But dry brushing, I don't wanna sound like a dum-dum, but I'm not sure I know what that is. <laughs> Okay, well, dry brushing is really, um, you can find them, there. it's just a, a, dry, a firm dry, you know, a brush, and you start with your toes, you work up towards your heart, and then what's happening is uh, your skin is responding by activating the, the lymphatic system, it's eliminating toxins, it's getting rid of all the flakies and even uh, cellulite, so... Um, it's a very common thing. It's it's kind of been around for a couple hundred years now, longer than that. So, <laughs> so I'm so I'm a little late in the game, is what you're saying. It's been around for a <laughs> long time. Hey, so overall, we've got these great three great tips that we can put into uh, into practice. But overall, any recommendations for viewers who just want to be more conscious about their skincare and and the beauty products that they're using? Yeah, the key thing is to look at your labels. There's a, a lot of really good marketing out there, a lot of claims and, you know, words like pure and clean and safe. But ultimately, when you look at the labels, that's really what's telling. And so look at, you know, what we do here at MIG Living is we're incorporating basically food based ingredients. If you had to, if you had to sit down and eat our skincare, you could. So you're looking for ingredients that are um, recognizable by the body. So check out for, you know, what you're looking for, toxins and chemicals, and just avoid all of that and stick with natural as much as possible. Well, I know we, we can get more advice and, and great programs and tips. You can go to jamiecross.com. Thank you so much for the time this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, Todd. Absolutely. Don't forget, jamiecross.com, or you can follow her on Instagram at jamiecross.com as well, and learn more about how to up your skincare game. We'll be right